Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Starfield. So we left a mission midway in the last one. We'll start from there. likely to end up that way. Uh, how about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace.
So if you just jump down and you cannot go out, you have to go through like that. It just goes to show you that sometimes the good guys come out ahead. been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? It's going well so far. I think I'm close to a breakthrough. With enough data, I'll be able to tell you everything they're up to. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, Deputy. From what I've heard, these marks mean business. Not everyone gets to say they work at the Rock.
able to land the first time I don't know. I have a huge bounty if I can do it. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And stop it. You and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. Stay in line, and we won't have a problem. Hey, watch out! You cause trouble, and I will not hesitate to end you in any number of ways I see fit. This ain't the United Colonies, Cupcake. Here, you listen to me. Okay, I lead the security season. force. Because we have to deal with the dregs of society, like you. Because May lets us handle things our way. Best way to keep people in line is through fear. After you see your first head split open on the bar floor, you're gonna think twice about skipping out on your tab. Maybe you don't start that fight over your lost bet. You get it now? Call it whatever you want. We're ecliptic mercenaries, so I'd think twice about pissing us off, or else you may find yourself with nowhere to hide. Why do you think, moron? Money. May pays us well to keep the assholes out. I make sure my people pretty much get the run of the place. Free booze, free entertainment, you name it. And if anyone's got a problem with it, well, we've got ways of making people disappear. All right. Now get out of my face. Need something for your ship? Hey, you're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I gotta ask, because it's my job, you know? And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure. And now I'm on the outs. Sure has. May, she's got these big ideas about making this place some kind of must-see attraction for the whole settled systems. You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality of the damn starport. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that ship, or a top-up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. Take a look and tell me what you need. 
Oh, this guy has nothing new. Yeah, you just tell me what you want. This is eighty eight thousand. I see two guns. This one is one twenty six thousand. I see missile launcher here, guns, it's still only two guns, this one is good, but it's a little bit costlier than I, so one sixty-two thousand, this is one ninety-eight thousand, fuck. The fucking guns there. Why does this also look like a gun? I think that's a gun. But these are also guns here. On this side. This is something different, man. Holy shit. Look at this fucker. This must be a cargo plane. Cargo starship, not plane. Cross boats, 298. The priciest starship available, I think. to challenge the Red Mile, or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life. My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Oh? Let's rectify that then, shall we? You will not find a more exciting blood sport in all the settled systems. The Red Mile is an exciting and deadly race to the finish for the galaxy's bravest champions. Those that manage to complete the course win fame and fortune. Those that don't are never heard from again. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. rather open-ended question, but I'll do my best. Red Mile was once a notorious haven for the criminal underworld. Thieves, shipjackers, mercenaries, and smugglers would come here to do business, get drunk, and gamble. I cleaned the place up when I took over. I made it, if not quite a family destination, at least a safer one. Red Mile still offers a unique, exciting experience, but our clientele has improved considerably. And we offer a wider range of services. Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people up here place bets on how far you'll get. Make it back alive, and you'll stand to win riches and the admiration of your fans. I'm sure you can figure out what happens if you fail. <laughs> You're too precious! Yes, of course they bet on our runner's lives. 
We're outside of the colonies in Free Star's properties. Betting is a huge part of the Red Mile's appeal. How better to make the most exciting sport in the universe more exciting? Repeat runners draw bigger bets. You should ask Donovan how much bets on him were worth before he was forced to retire. Just a little introduction we do to get the fans all worked up. The Red Miles. So this place is like a. Uh, Most people don't have played the far course, so This is a way to give those unfortunate four. souls a proper send off. You know that there is a well, place they where they conduct fights. Call on me if you need anything. Hello. I'm looking to join a crew. Any openings? No more than the average crew person's salary. This job, Zara. Can you get a moment? Can we talk? I think I got some information. Mama. Let's talk. The whole Terramorph situation, seriously, hats off to you. When I was growing up, everyone was afraid of Terramorphs. How they could seemingly strike anywhere at any time. The carnage, the destruction. Stuff you've done here could save so many lives. Given time, that'll be past tense. Because of you. I know using the microbes to kill the terramorphs may be controversial, but for what it's worth, I think you made the right call. 100%. We just can't take any chances with those damn terramorphs. Well, if there are, then we'll deal with it together. The United Colonies. Hell, everyone and everywhere owes you big time. Even if they don't know it.
Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. I wouldn't take that personally. Probably just having a bad day. Sam Co. Never thought I'd see you again. Can't say I really want to, either. Not after you turned your back on the rest of us. I did what I had to do, and I'm at peace with it. If you're gonna hold a grudge, that's your problem, not mine. I wouldn't count on Sam here to have your back, deputy. He's likely to disappear on you just when you need him the most. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't have the time to babysit a rookie. Yeah, well, you're here now, so we'll just have to make it work. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? When I say fortune, it's more like being blessed by mm, Seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. The difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. He started moving in on my territory. Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. They divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. I hope that's not false bravado, deputy. Because this is life and death we're talking about. Planned this out real good, didn't you, Jade? Freestyle Rangers do the dirty work, and you get rid of a rival. 
Don't forget the part where the Free Star Rangers get to bring down a big-time criminal while your deputy friend here gets intel on the first. Seems to me like we're all getting something we want, thanks to my good planning. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? Yeah, We're you going to things? take on the mile, huh? Not bad. Not bad. That's cool. If you're looking to register, you'll... Oh, dude. Get the hell out of my face. Please, enjoy your time here at the Red Mile. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him? Exactly. I to leave the faith that you're asking me to take. I have no particular love for Marco, but he is a business associate. So I must protect my reputation. Fortunately for you, I'm in a generous mood. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? No, oh, that's good. I give you my word, which is something I never do lightly. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. I'm afraid not. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to place substantial wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. I wish I shared your optimism. The mile's very real. Now that we're clear on what's expected, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you.
let's go down activate the beacon look at these guys
गेम भी फंस रहा है पहले कितना गोली है सबसे ज़्यादा गोलिंग में एक छोटी Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. Indeed you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. May runs a tidy establishment. Let's keep it that way. You made it. 
You must be tougher than you look. Of course I will. I made it. What do you think? Who do you think I am? Bitches. Okay, it's only 55 minutes. So I will just end the video here and start from your good self in the next one. So thank you guys for watching. Huh. Stay tuned for more. And Maybe I underestimated you. I will be back with more exciting videos and content. Stay tuned and have a good day, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. You're back. Are you okay? Maybe I was wrong. Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. What? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. Okay, bye guys. See you soon.